Hey, what's up? In this video, let's take a look at a few AI-powered tools to help you make slides faster and see if they are worth using. Number one, we have Tome.app. It says it can help you create presentations more quickly through AI. This is the website and let me sign in. I can do that through my Google account. So if I'm not wrong, you get 500 free credits and I've used it a few times to test it out. So right now I have 175. Let's come up here to create. And here I'm going to type in what I want to create a presentation about. So I wrote the fundamental concepts of branding for beginners. And I'm going to create a presentation. Okay, right now it's generating the branding like a boss. So I can see that this is the outline. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can move this around. I think you can do that later as well. But it doesn't seem like I can add slides to this outline. So let's just click continue. I have 175 credits. Okay, just click away. And right now it's generating brand like a boss mastering the fundamentals of branding for beginners. This is the contents page. Introduction to branding and I'm pretty sure this is an AI generated image. It looks kind of weird actually. You see this circle coming through and this hand doesn't seem that well drawn. Brand personality, brand identity. Let me look at set team and hopefully this is uh, where I can adjust my colors and fonts. Neptune, okay, Neptune. Not a wide range of font selections that we have here. For the header, let's go for Playfair display. And for paragraph, I chose Poppins. Save team. Uh, team name. Do I really need a team name? Test. Save. How do I set this? Uh, it doesn't. Oh, let me change the page. Okay, I can change to a... Uh, Maybe a dark blue, save team. Oh, it doesn't save over the previous team. Record narration, add title. So you can add your title, your images, videos, and elements from other places. And then click to create a new page. I think it's fine. It's not impressive. So let's create another one. I'm doing marketing concepts for beginners. Right now it's generating again. Let's start from the first page. This is the header. This is the title. This is the contents page. This is the first page. The second page. It is quite a lot of text. I would rather this be in some point form here. This one as well. Image one is in this style. A bit of illustrated style. And it's not generated the best can see this man with a headphones but then the headphone is in his head the second one is a cartoonish oh this is weird you see the hand something's going on here and over here the third one target audience and this illustration style is different this one also oh the hands is weird so let's say i want to remove this image let me delete and let's add let's add an image here create and i have a prompt which is going to generate an image based on the prompt. Oh, uh, I'm thinking a target bot to represent like goal setting or reaching your milestones. So obviously it's not the best prompt. It's very simple. But let's take a look at this. Okay, I think it's slightly acceptable just that this image here with this person is weird. A bunch of orange circle objects on the top here, which doesn't really mean anything. And let's move it around. So the layout is very standardized. You have your text here and your image here. It's all the same, is why I'm not really too keen on using this tool. What's good is it gives you a basic outline to start working with. Let's click share and try to download, but, but it seems like you can't download this. It seems like you can only copy the link. So overall, I think it's interesting, but it's not that useful. Number two, let's take a look at this magic slides for Google Slides. I've heard other people talk about this. I'm going to click install, magic slides, add GPT, continue. So I'm going to give it permissions to use it for Google. I'm not sure about the privacy and security of this, but I would say use it at your own risk. So this is the access that you're going to give it. I'm going to click allow. So magic slides has been installed. Where can I find this add-ons? Okay, so I'm here in Google Slides. I'm going to click start a new blank presentation and let me see if it is inside here. Okay, so under extensions, it's here. I can open it. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to do something for branding. Basic fundamental branding principles for beginners. Total number of slides limit is 10. So let's try 10 images for each slide show. And this is, uh, I have three credits on a free plan. Let's see what we get. 
generate. So over here it says generating in, I think just now it was 90 seconds. Okay, so it just finished generating. Let's take a look. Number one, basic fundamental branding principles for beginners, a guide to establishing your brand identity. Number two, what is branding? We have some bullet points here and we have image, which is from Pexos. Brand identity, okay, logo, color scheme, typography. Same thing for this, brand personality, emotional, characteristics of your brand we have coca-cola on this side branding consistency okay what i like is that these are point forms you probably have to have a good understanding of the content and be able to expand on it when you're presenting brand loyalty measuring brand success okay i think it's moderately good but you don't have visual uh, variation you have to edit the colors the font through google slides on your team i suppose and the layouts are all very standard you have your text and then you have your image so i think what's good is that the outline is much clearer you have point forms that you can read but you also will have to elaborate further and that is how presentations should be most of the time okay so i'm back here on magic slides and i can see that i left with two credits so i guess it's one credit per presentation which means you have three free presentations to try for free on your Google account. Next one, we have gamma.app and this one is pretty similar, but let's try it out. Presenting ideas powered by AI. Just start writing and let's look at the web page. Generate docs, decks and web page in seconds. Make it polished and ready. Sign up for free. Okay, let's try. I'm going to use Google. Okay, this is the dashboard. Let's click new with ai let me see which one should i try let's try guided create a presentation so you can see that there's document and web page as well type a topic in any language let's do branding principles for beginners sounds interesting okay so we have a chatbot you can edit this outline or continue as it is let me try to break this up introduction to branding importance of branding let me see if it works let's click continue pick a team okay let me see let's try this i like this black one body and ta kama continue branding principles for beginners welcome oh wow look at this it's a stock image and it's barely cropped probably we won't want to use that second slide why is branding important so it's interesting that it's coming out with the slides and everything is coming in a fluid manner this slide height is changing as it goes creating your brand voice and messaging so i think it's almost done let's take a look at the first slide what i don't understand is the height of this is inconsistent with how slides should be and inconsistent throughout the deck. I don't know. Can I remove this? What about this? Can I change the image? Edit accent image. You see, they cropped it in a very weird manner. Out of the text here, these are the images. Web search image. Oh, so it's connected to Bing. We have images from Unsplash. This is accent image. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd rather use an accent image here. Branding principles for beginners. Add card with AI. So let's click add card with AI. How can I la, 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 la. click on a card and type below? Put the key point into boxes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so this is like a help chatbot. Let me highlight like this and click expand on this let's see what it does okay i'll try expanding on this dot 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 are you new to branding this is a guide here to help you blah 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 okay interesting let's come over here and click on edit with ai again format this as a table let's try that so this is the suggested this is the original i don't see a difference but other than it's black define your target audience and usb okay this image is bad as well target audience target audience these images are from all about icon Icons. No icons found. That's weird. Oh, I very generic images. Let's just try this one. Uh, none of these images work for me. Uh, so let's just close it and skip this part. Oh, this slide is so long. As in like, it's the height. The height of it is really long. Is there a way to change this? Let me try. Use a three column grid. Okay, I'll start reformatting this as a three column grid. Okay, that's good. Now it's a three log column grid without images. Next slide, we have this logo design, color palette, typography, visual elements, creating your brand voice, tone of voice, brand message, storytelling. So as you can see, I think overall it's not amazing, but what I like is that it has uh, different layouts that you can 
choose from or edit to using the AI tool as well. But what I don't understand is the height of this card styling. Uh, let's try present. So this is normal slide. So this is a slides view. So we are presenting what is happening. I'm scrolling down and it's not moving until it, the circle reach the end. Let me try the arrow key. Why? So this is cut off. Why is this cut off? I'm uh, not sure if I understand how this works. Who does slides like this though? So this is something that I don't understand. Can I download this? Export as a PDF. Generate PDF. Can I download this as a presentation? Export not as PDF? No. We don't currently support PowerPoint or Google Slides. Uh, we're exploring this in the future. Ah, why? This is like so important though. I mean, I can edit the text here, but I want something that I can use for a presentation, not something that I scroll through. So this is the PDF and I'm not sure, but it looks like the height is still inconsistent. See, this slide is pretty tall. I mean, the good thing is that it gives you some variations of how they're formatted how the layout is but overall there's something weird going on with the height i also like the ai edit with ai thing where you can just tell it what you want and you'll try to give it to you so you don't have to mess it around yourself but i think it's not that useful potentially unless you can export to google slides or powerpoint okay next one we have canva i would think that you probably have heard of canva so let's jump into presentations let's do a Click on this presentation here, and this is it, magic design. Type five for more words to describe your presentation topic. Okay, here we go again, same thing. Basic branding principles for beginners. Design is the silent ambassador of your brand. And here we have uh, choose the design templates. Uh, they're the same content, but the design is different. I kind of like this one. Oh, and you can preview it, how it looks like. Oh, there's something weird happening here. Maybe we choose this one instead, a bit simpler. What is branding? One, two, three. Text is so small and in one small section on the left, on, on the right side here. Same for this. The layout is weird though. What is branding? Okay, this one's all right. I wouldn't use a centered alignment. Pretty short. How about this? What is branding? Key elements. The font is too small for this. Types of branding. I would prefer. Let's try to create slide one oh this is watermark so i think you need to buy to create this but i think you can use canvas ai to create let's go to apps text to image i'm going to use gradient background simple pink hues and create our image let's see if they can give me a better image without paying for it delete this let's track this in and fill up the background okay not bad uh page two what is branding page two you see this text is so small there should be larger there's too much negative space in this side here okay coca-cola image need to be removed uh, coca-cola image has a watermark and it's not well oh, properly always crop in this certain manner next slide same thing too small tips for successful branding i think what's nice is that the layout and the graphics is a bit more interesting but there's something wrong with the way the text is formatted the size wise sometimes it's too small the images you need to create your own or bring in from somewhere probably another image generation i think the text to image for canva is pretty good let's try totally unrelated but as you can see the images created can be quite good and then let's try to download this share download pdf powerpoint i think you can download as powerpoint so if you can download as powerpoint you can upload it back to google slides which hopefully the formatting remains there and you can edit it under google slides i think that's the good thing about canva compared to the rest that's number one number two you have your text to image that you can use within canva bring it in and there are also many elements like graphics lines and shapes that you can bring in inside canva itself but the outline you still have to create something that works for you i think this is too simple as an outline so last but not least i'm here in chat gpt to take a look at what you can do first i ask it to give me a brief overview about branding for beginners then break it up into bite sizes sections for a slide presentation so it gives me 10 slides that i can work with and each one has a few bullet points and then next i ask it for more points that i can use for the slides for each slide it continues to expand on it and next one i ask it for images that i can use for each slide and 
I think you can use these images as a guide to look for what you want. But I think it's the same thing. You need to create this as your guide and then use another app to create your images and then bring it all together in maybe Canva or Google Slides where you can edit them individually, where you have a lot more control over your slides. I think all the previous AI tools that we have looked at, there is potential, but it's not there yet for you to just type in what you want and then it's able to generate something that you can just use as it is. You still need to make a lot of tweaks some of them have issues that don't make them that easy to use or are not that practical. So I think the best way is to use a combination of these tools with something like ChatGPT to create your presentation.